I'm Jim Stavros. This is Trading in Two, and today we're going to analyze volume. This is a histogram of standard volume. Here I can see the spikes and the valleys in volume. I think that's pretty good information, but I can show you ways to make it a lot more relevant. Simple modification of our standard volume can split into aggressive buyers versus aggressive sellers. So if I'm looking at a big spike bar, I can see 183,000 were bought aggressively and 207,000 were aggressively sold. I think that's a lot better information than just looking at the total volume. In this study, I've accumulated the volume for each session. So the red is the actual night session. It accumulates until the new session starts, in this case, E-mini S&Ps at 830, and then begins accumulating primary. The lines you see are just the prior day's values being carried forward, so I can see when that particular session exceeds its yesterday's value. So in, here, in this case, and also in this case, during the day session 1245. As we can see today, while it's building, it's currently 1245. It actually exceeded it around 1230. This study will accumulate the volume from the start of the session. You can see sellers were in control right off the bat at the night session, then buyers. So it was a little choppy at the beginning, but once buyers took control, you thought you might have a little buy market at night. That was when they had the debt ceiling uh, news, and then the sellers took control, and they ne the buyers could never get control, and it was down all night. This can stop you from uh, buying in front of a freight train, let's say. So I think this is good information. This is my own personal favorite study. Here, instead of averaging the volume, let's say, for the last five bars and then comparing it to current volume, I take the, the average of the last five days at that particular time and price for that bar. So I go back to the same time in the next, last five days. I average these five days together, and I compare it to the current volume right now. So if I'm looking at the chart below, the, line, the red line represents historic volume, and the current volume is a histogram, the black histogram. If I see volume exceeding this red historic volume by a significant portion, like I see here, I'm looking for capitulation. I don't think you can trade well without this kind of information. I hope it helped. Uh, call me anytime, 1-800-525-1085. I'm Jim Stavros, Product Specialist at CQG.